All right, we're in Toronto today with uh, our special guest Ken Domic from uh, How's it going, guys? KBD Productions TV, and uh, we're touring the city with him, uh, Nick and I, and. Uh, uh, this has been a fantastic trip, and today we're gonna eat some uh, fat bastard burritos. So we just were in there and ordered up and uh, got um, some uh, different variations on burritos, and uh, had ghost pepper sauce. Added all three of them because that's that's how we roll. And for those of our viewers that aren't familiar with Ken, Ken, if you could tell us about your channel and well, I'm a food reviewer from Toronto. And I do a lot of fast food stuff, usually through the drive-through, some restaurant stuff, drinks, desserts, anything my mouth can get around, really. Anything edible? Anything edible. Any inedibles? Uh, but beef bile. Okay. It shouldn't, shouldn't be edible, but it is, <laughs> and it's raunchy. All right, I, uh, I got the little, yeah. little tequila chicken burrito and uh, Nick I got the little bean and cheese burrito I went with what I love it's a shrimp burrito with uh, the hot sauce Let's get in because the huge is too big <laughs> well yeah so it's little regular and they huge? actually call it uh, little big and huge yeah this is the, the, the little <laughs> and that's a normal size burrito you get in most places And we also went with uh, Mexican Cokes. Yeah, the imported real sugar Coke from real Mexico. Real sugar, mm. That tastes awesome. Mm. Check that out, people. Oh, is that making you hungry or what? Oh, it smells so good. I might be eating the ghost pepper already. Are you got it? We were on the inside and they were like, we like some of the hot sauce, and they're like, "Oh, it's it's really really hot." And you you know who's ordering it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the best burritos I've ever had. Nice. Whoa, hot sauce. Woo! You hit a ghost pocket. Yeah. I didn't hit the mine. The first yet. bite, ghost pocket. I didn't hit mine yet. <laughs> wow, and it's probably about 90 degrees in the car. <laughs> Uh, we have some windows open, so the traffic's not bugging you guys. And now uh, the hot pepper is making me starting to sweat already. It is very good. I have guacamole on mine. Mm. Some refried beans. Uh, tomatoes. Jalapenos. And ghost pepper sauce isn't enough. Green onions. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. How many, there's a lot of locations of Fat Bastard? Yep. <laughs> How uh, many Fat Bastards are there in there Toronto? There are a lot of Fat Bastards in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> it was created in Toronto, and I believe they have over 10 okay. uh, franchises all around uh, Toronto. I can't wait till they come north. because There have uh, always been north. 10 Fat Bastards in Toronto. There's been at least 10 Fat Bastards in Toronto. This has been great. Mm. Ken has been taking us around the city of Toronto. And we were just at the CN Tower, and uh, that was amazing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Tell them how you felt about going up. Yeah. Or standing on the glass. I have a, I have a thing with heights, and uh, uh, a lot of you know from me mentioning that in the comments section, but... Yeah, it's a uh, straight-up elevator. How, how high is it? They said it's 100 and something floors. Okay. And uh, really fast with a glass window so you can look out and freak out while you're going up it I'm the type of person where I get uh, wobbly knees when I go up uh, the escalator yeah. and Nick <laughs>, laughs at me because Nick is the opposite I was right though but we got up to the top and kind of like um, Willis Tower in Chicago they have a thing we can climb out on the glass and then look down and I actually did it yeah <laughs> I was actually a little afraid of the, of the glass cracking because I um, heard that it happened a couple times to the Willis Tower, so yeah. Here you go, buddy. Oh yeah, they did have a couple moments where they had to uh, repair the mm -hmm. oh, really? Willis Tower. It had, it had some cracks, but they claimed it wasn't oh. cracks of consequence. I only did two <laughs> drops of their uh, ghost pepper sauce and it is really attacking my taste buds right now and it's I'm sweating not because just because of the car heat but it's the power of that 
and she only put two on. I'm thinking, <laughs> and you almost said put a line on there. And she said, well, it's really hot. And so you're like, oh, okay, just it's a some good, drops. It's some, some good heat. And it is good heat. Are you liking it? Mm -hmm. I haven't hit it yet. Oh, you will. Why? How hot is it? <laughs> well, it won't bother me, though. Look at that chunk of shrimp on there, people. Mmm. <laughs> Shrimp, guacamole, uh, two shrimp. We got two shrimp happening. You can see mine with the, the chicken and guac. It is really good. Um, yeah, Nick and I are a little strange. We like hot sauces a little more than normal people. I think we have about 120 bottles in the house at the moment. That's a lot. And then we keep going to expos and it keeps getting worse. Oh. <laughs> One good thing I like about uh, Fat Bass Burrito is the fact that they don't charge you for any topping that you want on it unless you want extra guac. Yeah, no, no charge for the guac either. Yeah, you, you can. You, they'll put anything, double, triple, whatever you want it, except the guac. They'll charge you, uh, like a, I think it's nine nine cents or fifty cents, if you want double guac. But they they put enough on there. You don't need more than that, really. Um, talk more about uh, videos that you've done on your channel. What have been some of your featured or what? Have, yeah, you've done lots of videos. How many videos have you had total? I've got uh, on my channel because there's a whole lot of other things on there too. I've got uh, 1,300, 1,400 okay. videos. And you said this morning about what, eight, nine years? Uh, this channel's been going since 2009. Okay, okay. Yeah, my big channel. And then what are some of your, uh, what are some of your, your best vids that well, you've done? Well, I've done two Fat Bastard Burritos uh, already. I did the tequila lime. Uh, I did the shrimp. That's why I'm doing shrimp again, because I, I love the shrimp. Um, but uh, my, I, um, Secret menu items on my channel do really, really well. So my number one video on my channel is the McLand Air and Sea Burger. Uh, and then it goes to the T-Rex Burger from Wendy's, which was nine patties of beef, nine slices of cheese. Took me about 35 minutes to eat it. Uh, those are some great videos. Definitely, yeah. definitely check out Ken's channel and give him a sub. Well, thank um, you. It's fantastic. Uh, well, especially if you're ever curious of any, uh, I mean, he covers, Every product you can imagine that comes out at the restaurants. So if you were curious what, you know, is a sandwich worth getting, pro reviews probably on his channel. And, and, and yeah. Nick and I have seen tons of his videos. And they're honest reviews, so if there's something about it I don't like, then I let you know. Uh, the one thing I don't like about Fat Bastard Burrito is they don't have black beans. And I, I, when I first went there and I said, you don't have black beans, but they have noodles because they wanted to make it a little bit different. So uh, one thing I really like on my burritos is black beans. Yeah, that was one interesting uh, option they had that I passed on, but uh, it was... <laughs> the noodles. Yeah, what, what, what type of noodles were though? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like fried noodles. Yeah, like fried noodles, yeah. It's like, why would you put fried noodles on your burrito? But that's, that's their thing. It'd be interesting to know how many people actually put it on their burrito. I yeah. hit something. I'm like sweating crazy. Did I you hit, finally hit your ghost? Um, I don't know. It, it could either be the jalapenos or the ghost. I hit something spicy. It's, That's not that Nick would notice the ghost sauce. Anyway. No. Yeah. <laughs> could have been the ghost. And you have to like a restaurant where one of the menu options was you could buy a dried ghost pepper and they had packs. You could actually, it's yeah. like $5.99 to get your own dried ghost pepper to eat with your sandwich. Oh, and they also, another cool thing, they had uh, Blair's uh, Death Rain chips for mm -hmm. their chips. That was the chips for, you know, I have never seen that at a restaurant before. Very, very cool. We feature those in an uh, earlier video. But you, there was one there that you, didn't, you haven't done yet. You was said. there or was there not? I thought there was. No. We've we done we all had, the ones had over done there? All, yeah, yeah. All right, so we finished up, and uh, so final thoughts on your burrito? Fat, um, fat bastard? I rated uh, go out and get it now. Nice. Okay. So on Ken's scale, you want to see your scale again? My, my, uh, my scale is uh, indifferent, or sorry, uh, would not recommend, indifferent, would recommend, and go out and get it now. So mine was a go out and get it now. Yeah, and I would give it, uh, as far as burritos go, yeah, go out and get it now. It was very good. For awesome. Me, for burritos. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I would go with anything beyond the, the little one. That was just, I, yeah, it was perfect yeah. size. I didn't finish it yet. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so cool. That was uh, thanks for uh, for lunch. Ken Domic, KBD thanks, Productions, and uh, we're the Crude Brothers from Toronto. And uh, thanks a lot. We appreciate the support. And see you guys later.